One day many moons ago, a brilliant man forged a concept. How many two drops do you have? Not just two drops, two twos for two. Bears! Sentinel Sliver's white, and a sliver. Still counts as a bear, I call this deck, Bear Force One. It was never possible to create a viable deck in standard. Until now dot dot dot. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Oxid Magic, and it's Jordan here. And as you can tell from that very different intro for the channel, uh, we're doing something a bit special today. So this is a deck tech, but it's a deck tech like no other. Um, as you may have known, there is a com there is a content creator group out there called Loading Ready Run, and they did Friday nights. Please let it return at some point. Uh, all about sort of Magic the Gathering and focusing around that, and it was always done tongue in cheek, really funny, and I always loved watching it. One of the themes of that was, of course, Graham Stark's character of playing portraying himself, of course, which was Bear Force One. Now. Everyone's going to say, but Jordan has done Bear Force 1. Yes, he has. He's done Bear Force 1 for Commander. But the idea has never been done in standard. Well, it probably has by someone else who's much more intelligent than me. But without further ado, I want to show off this deck. Um, well, with Starrant currently as is, I, I wanted to show it off and because we can have a lot of fun with it. Now, there is one little thing. Well, there's actually two things. There are two creatures in this deck that are not... Two, two twos for two. And that, of course, is that, as you can immediately notice, is Badger's Lieutenant and Shale Dean of Radiance slash Embross. Now, the reasons why is because I originally built this deck without them and had Conclave Mentor, the Amplomancer, Horned Beetle, and Dragon Guard Elite, as well as, obviously, the Light Scribe. And it was just awesome. It was awesome building around the 1-1 one -one counter theme for this deck for, for, for essentially bare not Bear Force 1. This is Bearless Bears. <laughs> and, you know, using uh, Basri Ket in here as well. And it was just, it was really fun. So I was like, well, hang on. Shield's pretty good. We need to put that put it in. And we can actually make it a 2-2. Two -two. We can make it a 2-2 two -two by using Guiding Voice or Feet of Resistance or Snake Skin Veil. So, you know, we can do something with that. Uh, obviously, Basri's Lieutenant is there purely just for value purposes. Because the fact is... Once it's you know once you've spread out loads of one one counters, being able to get two twos out of the deal is always sweet. Now, what we're trying to do is, as you can see, it's generally a theme deck around obviously dealing with the board state and growing big guys. Obviously, Conclave Mentor is a key component, but having the Reckless Ampermancer, which can double its power and toughness, is quite cool. Horn Beetle just gets out of hand if it's not dealt with. Um, obviously, Dragon Guard Elite. Hilarious for obviously doubling its counters if you can. It's always good fun. And then Leon and Light Scribe has quite frankly been an overperformer in a lot of matches. Uh, it works out to our advantage a lot of the time. Hence the reason why we're running obviously a full player set of him. And obviously the land base itself, you know, we've got Arden Vale, we've got planes, got swamps. The reason why we do have swamps is for the sideboard tech. So and also if we do want to turn um, a Shaley into an Embross, because there have been games we have played where we are running on fumes and actually just having Embross, suddenly our opponents got to think about how they're going to attack us. Because, you know, suddenly if we're trading off card you know, if we're trading off creatures for <laughs> if we're trading off creatures for cards, it's pretty good. Not to mention as well if we've got Bazaar's Lieutenant out, so not only are we then getting we're trading off a creature to get a card, we also get a creature back, which is also pretty sweet, so it's always good. The sideboard, obviously, we have Guiding Voice as a learn card, so we are using in our first seven in best of one. We've got two Environmental Sciences because we do want to get up to four mana quite quickly. Pest Summoning because it's Pest Summoning. It is amazing. Uh, introduction to Prophecy is just good for the card draw. Helps you get free fill of hand. Expanded Anatomy obviously is there purely for the counters, and it has actually won me a game once or twice, so definitely is worth running, although I know a lot of people go, why? And then we have one copy of Introduction to Annihilation and Cyborg. It's just purely to deal with any problematic pieces that we're struggling to deal with. Obviously, if you're going to go to Best of Three, and I have played this a couple of times at Best of Three and Ranked, um, I found that using Binding of the Old Gods is pretty good, along with Shadow's Verdict, because it helps uh, like remove any graveyard synergies or anything like that. Obviously, it does hurt us quite a lot, but at the same time, we can sort of play around it as much as we need to. Doomscar is there for a good early board control, and as well as Elspeth Conquer's Death is just to get a little bit of graveyard recursion, probably on Basri or Basri's Lieutenant, 
Um, but certainly hitting any of these other small things isn't that bad of an idea. Just FYI, the Elspeth Conquers death, if you're going to bring back Shirley, you cannot bring back Embrus. Just to make you aware. <laughs> if you're thinking about cheating Embrus out that way, don't even bother. It's not worth it. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get to the gameplay, but I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to the channel and is also supporting us. Please make sure you are subscribed and liking the videos. It helps our content immensely. Big thank you, much love, and enjoy the game. Okay, first game up against Lucifer. Um, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. Um, we want the... Probably the Dragon's Guard Elite first down. Okay, new plan. We're going Shirley first. Shirley into Conclave Manor. Cool. So ideally, we draw another another green source probably. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, attack for counters, and then we've got snakeskin veil for for uh, protection. Kind of shut down quite nicely. He's a. Uh... Um, yeah, we'll wait. And drop a trio. Um, hmm. Do we attack? We can block the beloved princess and kill her. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So, we can have a bit of a blowout here. So, we can block the Chorister with that. We can block there with that. And then, when we cast Snake Skin Veil, Dragon's Guard Elite is going to get two on one counters. This is going to get two on one counters. Okay. Sure. Yep. Right, let's go with play this. Um let's go with Basri on on Shale. And then swing for five. Incremental life rain does work, but obviously not to the extent of when you've started getting big hitters. Yeah, and that's fine. So what we can do is we get this to, if we get this to ultimate, we'll happen. Ooh, Reckless Anthomancer. I mean, now logically, he targets Basri. No. Wow, okay. Okay, he wants to stop the attack in the air. That's fine. Okay, uh, let's go with... I want to leave up Feet of Resistance. And we will target... The Should we target the home field. No, let's target the mentor. My clan will protect you. Swing like that. Okay. Right. So we've got feet of the resistance for protection for the home beetle in case he tries to remove it. 
But yeah, we're gonna. I think I think we've got this in the bag. Because this thing starts getting out of hand. Lower of the sun. Okay. Gains two. He needs one more life. It swings a Basri. Right, okay. No. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Right. Let's draft Trion. Reckless Amplomancer. Put this on the Mentor? Yeah. Up to six. Oh, might as well swing for ace. And we're still leaving up protection. We can get the ultimate and things just start getting crazy with the ultimate. fine oh creatures entering that's what i'll say i thought it turns it all off oh, it's the i'm thinking the uh what is it harsh proctor the new spirit that does the same thing but you gotta pay two that would turn that off okay well i certainly wouldn't have allowed that Okay, uh, let's go with uh, white. So we can double all the counters on there. We can double its power. Shot. Ho, 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 ho. Um, sure. Let's see what he does. Sure. Dead. <laughs> oh, down to one. Down to one. Sure. Yes, because that's the problem. Of course it is. Yep. <laughs> Blue red. Blue red could be giants. You know what? I, yeah, I'm gonna assume this is blue red giants logically. So we probably want extra green because we got a lot of green in hand. This allows us to play probably Minta. Do we do Minta first? Yeah, let's do Minta. Okay, Mentor, we've got Snake Skin Veil for protection. Although, ideally, I want to get down. Okay, alright, okay, okay, that's fine. Right, so, let's see what he goes for. Now, you could have counters, so. To be fair, I've not seen a lot of this build. The giant, the Giants build, you don't see them running the counters a lot of the time. Because they tend to go for just straight up damage. Sure. Um... Let's minus. Ooh, didn't th forgot that they're attacked and attacking. I thought it creates them, so I messed that up just a wee bit. That's fine. 
amulets creates a giant yeah sure sure yep yep no no that's that's completely fine it's my own stupidity Retreat and regroup. um right let's go with Uh, Conquered Mentor. No attacks. So we can block Agar the Freezing Flame if we want. We've got protection from Multicolored, which is helpful as well. Calamity Bearer is interesting. So Calamity Bearer doubles the damage. This is something to consider. So he's hitting for six, yeah? Uh, this gives two one one counters. It hits for two one one counters. So I could kill Agar the Freezing Flame. Oh, hang on. Oh, protection from Multicolor, that's fine. Thank you. Yep, that's fine with me. Right. Feet of resistance. Yes, we like feet of resistance. Okay, let's go with... Oh, hang on. Swings for eight, doesn't it? Right, hang on. Um... Let's see, is he willing to trade off his ridiculously big giants? Is a good question, isn't it? Let's say, is he willing to trade? No. Okay, so I can grow my grow these guys to what eight eight? Deals four damage to each non giant. Right. Okay. So hang on. First things first. Is a one one counter. So first things first, we do. Now this should be protected. Uh, red. And do we do that just to protect? Yes. Hello. And now, whenever we have something die, we're going to get a 2 2. So he can't swing. So we've effectively blocked him for this, which is fine. That's how it's done. What do we keep here? I kind of have double white. I could draw into double white though. Yeah, let's just throw back the fear resistance. Let's see if. I need. A. Let's get a white, because I can still play a green at the moment. I can still play green. Well, that makes that decision. So I need to natural a white off the top. And then we can do something. Are you willing to trade with me, sir? I didn't think so. Right, we just need another white. We ideally want to get another white. So we can start getting Basri ticking up. Now my light scribe can get bigger than your light scribe because I have snakeskin bill. Uh, 
Uh, let's go shields down. Put it onto the life scribe. And no attacks. So I can double block Killian. I ideally want to start getting this other white, so I've got Basri doing things for us. Which would be the better way of having it, realistically. Um, obviously, removal spells cost two less now. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's double block there. Let's double block Killian. Because Killian right now is giving him massive advantage. Okay, 4-3. I've still got protection protection from multicolors. So he needs a direct removal spell with single colour for Basri's lieutenant. Okay, that's fine. Pro white. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I'm taking five. Sure, I tell you what, sure confidence is one of those spells that it has massively impressed me. Sure. Okay, two two. Right. Um, well, let's first things first. We're going to guiding voice on environmental sciences to environmental sciences, get the other white that we want. And then we can just attack with these two because they've both got vigilance. Whenever, let's see, whenever a creature you control dies, right, so it doesn't matter if it's a token or a non-token, that's fine. Okay. Right, and we've got Snakeskin Veil. Got Snakeskin Veil to uh, do stuff. That's fine. Right, ooh, okay. Um, no, I can't do everything, and I want to leave up um sure wait hold off keep keep just toe the line so we've got snake skin veil to keep Bazar's lieutenant safe you make this a 5-5. Five, five. Got a 3-3 three, three chump blocker for the 6-6. Six, six. So you can get through. If he swings all in the Killian, I can... Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, let's go with... Uh, white. No attacks. Might as well try and get to the ultimate. So now we can definitely protect uh, Basri quite nicely. Ooh, okay. Sure. Horned Beetle. Give it indestructible. No attacks in turn. Right. If I can get this ultimated, we're, we then can start having fun. Yep, sure. Fine. Um, do 
Do we start attacking? No. We start attacking next turn. Oh, we're definitely starting to attack next turn, this turn then. Sure. Um, right, let's go with... Uh, actually, hang on, hang on. This can become a 7-7, seven, seven, uh, an 8-8. Eight, eight. So we can make this an 8-8. Eight, eight. This is an 8-8. Eight, eight. And... Yeah. No, we can make them nine nines with the snakeskin bill. Uh, we can make this a. Yeah, we'll swing like that. In fact, yeah, this as well, and this. Yeah. Let's start uh, getting in for some very large chunks of damage. Sure. Nine nine becomes a ten ten. Sure. Yeah, it becomes a nine nine. Yep. Sure. Um, right, let's go with on this. Sure. Trade off, get some dudes. Right, that's one light scribe dealt with. It's fine. Good game? Booyah!